Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you about an interesting topic. The topic is the proton pump inhibitors. Do they help with the blood sugar control? There are some interesting findings that I'm going to talk to you about. Stay tuned. Watch the entire video. There are important information during the entire video. Let's get started. So guys, recently there was this study in the University of Maryland that looked at around 400 patients. And there are some other studies as well that suggested that proton pump inhibitors can actually help with diabetes. Now the question is, how much does it really help? And does it really help or harm anything else? Well, as you know, uh, a lot of diabetics suffer from gastrointestinal disorders, including uh, reflux disease. Well, that's partly because a lot of type 2 diabetics have some weight issues which triggers the reflux. But there are a lot of medications that can make the reflux worse, such as metformin, GLP-1 agonist agents like Ozempic, Trulicity, Robalsis, etc. Those are the things that actually make the reflux worse. Now, if your diet is not great, your stomach acidity can also be high, etc., etc. Now, what they found in that study is that people who took proton pump inhibitors had actually an A1C around 0.3 to 0.4 less A1C. Now, that corresponds to around, you know, maybe 15 milligram per deciliter blood sugar difference. Now, you may think that that's not a big deal, uh, or you may think that, yeah, that, that makes sense, you know, because at most of the time when FDA determines if a medication is going to be approved for diabetes treatment, they look at the difference compared to placebo, and they generally look around at least 0.3 to 0.4 A1C difference to call it significant. Now, obviously, when you start using proton pump inhibitors, it is helping your diabetes. But the question is, how? How does really a proton pump inhibitor can help your diabetes? You had to ask the question, right? Well, here's the deal. It's interesting that our gastrointestinal system have so much endocrine hormonal function which works with your pancreas. The most important one, as you know, if you're, if you're watching this channel, GLP-1 hormone agonists. We call them incretins, right? We have a lot of medications like Ozempic, Trulicity, Rebelsis, you name it, Bidrian. These are all the drugs that are actually a hormonal mimetics. They are mimicking the hormones in your gastrointestinal system that send signals to your pancreas that there is food in there, make some insulin, okay? So that's how the GLP-1s work. Now, we also have other hormones in our body. One is called ghrelin. That is basically made in the stomach. Basically, it is just telling your body if you're hungry. It's a hunger hormone. Okay, now these are typically dysregulated in patients with diabetes as well, so they tend to feel kind of hungry a lot. Now, what else? The gastric acidity is regulated by a hormone called gastrin. The gastrin hormone is structurally very similar to the GLP-1 hormones. So, what happens is when you block the stomach acidity, the gastrin levels go up. Now, when gastrin levels go up, it looks like you're taking a GLP-1 hormone. So, that works like a medication almost. Almost it works like a Genevia or Trojanta that you guys also take in a pill form. I know they're more effective in lowering blood sugars than a PPI for sure. But still, if you are suffering from reflux, I think taking a proton pump inhibitor uh, will not only relieve your symptoms, but also will help with your blood sugar control. Now, what else does the gastrin hormone do? The gastrin actually suppresses the ghrelin. What was the ghrelin? Well, the ghrelin was a hunger hormone. So, so actually, proton pump inhibitors may actually lower your appetite as well. So it looks like GLP-1 hormones, which help your body to make insulin, right? So gastrin increases when you take PPI, and the ghrelin hormones go down because of the gastrin increase. So as a result, so you have two hormones on your side that is modified by the proton pump inhibitors. Now, are proton pump inhibitors uh, really that safe? Well, 
Not really. <laughs> like any diabetic medication, nothing is 100% safe. But, you know, there are studies actually suggesting that the prolonged use of PPI can actually worsen your kidney, uh, potentially can cause kidney problems. Uh, so, and there are some other drug interactions may happen, etc., etc. But, again, if you are suffering from reflux disease, in addition to changing your diet, and if you're still suffering from reflux disease, because it's not just a diet, sometimes just having an abdominal obesity, you know, can do that. So, so if you don't want to use a long-term, maybe for a short-term relief, to help with your diabetes, to get things under control, if things are out of control right now, you can use the PPI to help with your reflux, to help with your diabetes, not for years and years ago, but for the beginning to kind of get things under control. So if you do not have reflux disease, I am not telling you, go start taking a proton pump inhibitor to help your diabetes. That's not the message, so don't misunderstand me. But uh, hopefully uh, the message is well taken. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, don't mind, uh, just write comments. Just make sure that they're not too mean. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Give a thumbs up and like and share this video, and we'll see you in the next one.